Hello tipsters and tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. What have you got? If you haven't got, haven't got love. Today I have another little haul for you guys. It is from a brand that I have been pining over forever and that I was lucky enough to meet the founder of or the owner of at London Edge this year and that is Charlie Stone Shoes. I'm sure many of you already know this brand. I feel like every vintage influencer on Instagram works with this brand and that is because their stuff is like really classic and gorgeous and they make flats that are pretty. Game changer, seriously. I mean, I live in heels because flats are ugly most of the time. So I'm really excited to wear flat shoes that go with my vintage clothing and don't look like clodhoppers. I can tell you and these are actually comfy as well so that's always a bonus but I'm getting ahead of myself so um, for those of you who aren't familiar Charlie Stone Shoes started in Australia and is run by lovely Sam she works I believe with only one other woman who is also a mum and works from home most of the time so I really love the concept that I am supporting a small business and a female run business and that it's also working mums it's like a, a trio of fabulousness right there and I can vouch for the fact that Sam is an absolute sweetheart I've said this about like like every vintage business owner but to be honest it is a community filled with really beautiful people I'm not just saying this for the sake of a video like these are really really lovely people and Sam is no exception we chatted for ages at London Edge I was there working with bow and crossbones bow and crossbones <laughs> Um, and Sam's booth was next door to us and I got chatting to Sam and I just wanted to talk to her about the shoes I had no idea that she knew me from Instagram at all we'd never chatted on Instagram um, she was like you're B right and then we got chatting and there we go but I had spotted whilst I was at London Edge that she had some vegan shoes up front and center and I was like are these coming out soon because I've been waiting for you to release vegan heels and yes she was wearing them and they were these beautiful ones here which was what I was hoping she was gonna say so it's like if they're the vegan ones I'm so excited because vegan heels yes 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 so they're here guys and they are stunning so she very kindly sent me these classic mahogany croc ones which I had been eyeing off for ages and I wear with absolutely everything and that you guys have probably already seen on my Instagram so highly recommend and they go with the bag that just came in the mail the other week to me so big thank you to Sam because I thought she was gonna send me like one pair of shoes I think maybe the black pair and then all this other stuff arrived and I was really overwhelmed by that so that is very very lovely of her she did send me the scalp shell white flats these are so pretty I'll come up close so you can see the detail on because I am miles away absolutely gorgeous with the gold detailing and like the shell style scalloping on the front of them and they have like this little built-in wedge that makes them really comfortable so the wedge is like inside the shoe rather than the heel being high so you get a little bit of elevation but you're essentially still walking on a flat very nice and then a 30 style t-bar heel with the traditional style heel on it and then of course the t-bar but this detail is so beautiful and if you guys can see there's like patent leather sort of leaves across the top of it and then this is like a faux suede so they are really stunning a lovely height and I personally am thinking about wearing them with all of my 30 stuff if you guys have seen the video <laughs> where I brought back all the 1930s clothing from my grandma from Australia these are going to go beautifully with that because most of my shoes have got more of a 40s kind of vibe to them so I'm very excited to pair these with my 30 stuff because I haven't put a lot of that on Instagram yet I did like the video haul but I haven't actually shot a lot of it yet so um, be prepared to see these with those pieces of clothing and last but not least is this gorgeous croc bag of course it's all faux leather I'm gonna come up nice and close keeps focusing on my face there we go so you can see the beautiful faux croc detail and it is a lovely kind of mahogany brown color it's got that slight kind of burgundy color to it with a cute little clasp at the front there it does come with a long handle as well and plenty of space inside she got room and here is the long handle as well adjustable so that you can like put it over the shoulder and wear it like a saddlebag too very cute loving that and it has got pockets and things inside for you to put phones and money and all of that 
but it is just so cute and I love the colorway and I love that it's in such a versatile color I believe it also comes in black and white um, I was tempted to get the white but I know how much I'm gonna wear the brown shoes and I thought I would get the bag to match the shoes that I wear the most and I just really love the croc finish on this I have an almost identical colored bag in real crocodile that belonged to my great-grandmother I love it it's so beautiful but obviously I'm never going to I don't even know if you still can buy real crocodile bags and purses you probably can which is horrifying but um, yeah I'm obviously not going to get the real deal so I'm very excited that something so realistic because this really does look very very much like my original bag in terms of the finishing and everything it is really nicely done and it has little features on it that I love like it's got the little gold novels on the bottom I hope you guys can see so that the bag stands nicely as well it's just really beautifully finished and I love that because Sam comes from a dancing background the shoes are genuinely really comfortable and you can speak to other people in the vintage community that aren't influencers that didn't get the shoes for free that will tell you how comfortable these shoes are they are real staples for a lot of people and people have bought them in lots of different colors like the same shoe in different colors because they are super super comfy and they go with everything and I think that's something that Sam's really tried to do. She wants the shoe to be versatile and not just pretty because as much as it's nice to prance around in pretty heels, like we still got life to live. We still got stuff to do. And I am branching more and more into wearing my vintage stuff to things where I'm perhaps not supposed to look that avant-garde. And so I still want to look vintage, but I also want to kind of like go a little bit under the radar. I mean, you're not really going to go under the radar dressing vintage. I think we all know that, but you know, sometimes you just want to tone it down a little bit. And I feel like these can dress up an outfit or you can wear them with some more kind of casual, normal stuff and kind of help make it look a little bit less flamboyant. Or you can just go out in these and feel absolutely fabulous. So yes, very excited for those. And then just as a little bonus, she sent this gorgeous little vintage diary and a bedazzled pen with like a giant Elizabeth Taylor-esque diamante on the back of it so this is going to be my little thoughts and journal book for my patreon because I just filmed my patreon announcement video so if you guys haven't seen that already it is here do go and have a look even if you're not going to become a patron uh, it does mean some pretty exciting changes on the channel for you guys as well fingers crossed provided it all takes off and you guys like the concept so yeah do check that out and in this diary from Sam is going to be the ideas whether they're my own or whether they're suggestions from you guys the patreon thing is very much going to be collaborative so do go check it out I won't harp on and promote it all now but there's a shameless plug for you absolutely so yes thank you to Sam for that little bonus it was very very cute and it's going to get plenty of use so there you go guys that is the charlie stone shoe stuff i'm sure you already know who they are and all about the shoes but in case you didn't know yes they do have a vegan range now not everything on their site is vegan and they don't do i think these you can get non-vegan but these guys i believe are only in the vegan range because sam wants it to be that people don't think of them as vegan shoes they are just shoes on her site um, that are beautiful and that people want to wear which is a concept i actually Quite like I know sometimes it's annoying that you can't get a vegan version of something that you like but I like that the other way around it's encouraging people to not see vegan stuff as like the crappy version of something else these are absolutely beautiful you wouldn't know the difference so why not promote them just as a pair of shoes on her site rather than specifically the vegan version of something that people might consider to be better you know the bags I believe are all vegan regardless it's just that some of the shoes do come in leather versions uh, and obviously I would encourage you to buy the vegan versions but do check out her site and another lovely person that when you contact the company you are dealing with the owner which is always something that I really really like so as I always say shop small business guys and support women in business because they're doing something amazing especially as mums of little ones like that's already a full-time job and then she's running a business on top of it like you go girl so that's the video guys I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and any suggestions for future videos maybe share this video with someone you think might like it and I will see you in the next video bye